Hello everyone. So today we are going to see this question in exception handling. So here we have to write a Java program that demonstrates the exception propagation by calling the method that throws an exception and catching in the calling method. So here nothing but the we have to demonstrate the exception propagation. So let's see here example. Here I have a main method. I will create a one more method public static void method like uh, m3 sys trace control space enter okay uh, and uh, here throws it will throw an exception throw exception exception from m3 okay Here we have to write a new keyword okay this one now next what I will do is I will create another method which name is m2 sysoutest.m2 and what I will do is I will call this m3 from this one. next one is I will create a one method m1 here from this I will be inside m1 I will call the m2 right and from the main method I will call m1 and we have to surround it with the try catch okay. and here I will print sysout get message sysout e dot get message so what will happen m1 here so we'll go to a main method then it will call to m1 so this will be printed it will call m2 it will go to inside m2 it will call then third one this will be printed now here from here we will get exception it will go here it will go to e from m2 is to it will go to m1 and from here we will catch that exception in the exception catch block now if I try to run this right click run as Java application save this and run this see so you can see exception from method m3 so from here we are printing so whatever the program you have this program demonstrate the exception handling in Java the main method calls the method 1 that is nothing but m1 which turns to call the method to m2 and method to m2 call the m3 so m3 method 3 deliberately throws an exception using the throw keyword so it is throwing the exception right so each method declared that is that it way throw an exception using the throws clause so here you can see we have used the throws so when an exception occur in method 3 it not it's not caught there instead it propagates up to the call stack to the method 2 that is m2 method then to the m1 method and finally to the main method where it caught in a try catch block so at the main method we have caught in a try catch block right so the exception message is printed in the console we have seen that in the console the exception message is printed exception from m3 so this demonstrate how exception can be propagated propagate of the call stack until they caught or until they reach to the top level of the program at which point the program terminates if the exception is not handled so this is a way we can demonstrate exception propagation by calling the method that throws an exception and catching it in the calling method so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel